Alrighty. Um, this here is going to be the High Templar Aparius fight. Uh, taking him on on my on my duel list here. His uh, single target attack is Viper Strike. Show what I got on him. Uh, Fortify support, multi strike, and life leech. My AOE is Frost Blades, which also has Fortify, life gain on hit, and Ancestor's Call. And then, um, then Leap Slam. My uh, sort of kind of teleport move. Uh, decoy totem. Uh, keeps them off from me. Although, it pretty much only. It's only really going to work mostly with the um, adds he summons. He, he moves and teleports around so much that uh, I, don't, I don't think this is that much useful. Then um, I got vulnerability. And I'll. Uh, with both vulnerability and decoy totem, also have increased duration. So, decoy lasts about 12 seconds. Vulnerability lasts about 13. Then I got stone golem. Um, gives, me, gives me a friend to help me out and also um, some extra life regen as well. And if I remember to, I'm gonna try using a portal, using a portal in the during the boss fight. Um, I'm usually real leery on using them, mainly because in the middle of combat I have to open this and I have to right click it and and I have to be standing at the right place because uh, too far away and I'm not gonna see the portal and out of sight, out of mind. But you know, because at least it's out of the way. <clears throat> too close in. I might be, you know, I'd be more likely to find it, but problem is, is, uh, I have a habit of accidentally clicking on it, so, yeah, and also, he's hardcore, so, but if he dies, I'm not going to delete him, I'm just going to simply transfer him over to standard. Um, for no other reason than I don't want to have to recreate another duel list and I don't want to have to start over and act one all over again. So, like on my Ranger, I might end up having to brute force my way through. So... Wish me luck, and let's hope the let's hope my computer doesn't reset or the game doesn't crash. Whoa, 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 whoa.
computer lag. Where you going, bud? Oh, this again. the beam. Looks like he's channeling it faster too. Oh. Innocence. You and only you I shall say. So I guess to survive till the next boss. Luckily, I was able to time it. I was able to time my flask usage with um that statue's hit. I knew um. I know it's gonna. I know it's practically a guaranteed hit, but like, like I said a few moments ago, luckily I was able to time my flask till right after it connected. Um, I guess something else I should say on the side. I was uh, reading the forums uh, earlier today, and they were saying they were uh, recommending I should have at least 400 life per act. I'm, I'm starting to wonder, like, how the hell? Because uh, that would mean by the time I get to this act, I'd have to have 2,000 life. I mean, how the hell is that even possible? I'm sure if, uh, if I, uh, if I went on my, uh, if I went on here, and if I picked every single life node, I don't think I could even get that. Maybe, maybe double that, 1,500 at best, but I'm, I'm considering, like, how? But, like I said, and, uh, other places uh, life is actually to me at the bottom I'm more into life leech life gain on hit life regen uh, damage reduction I mean I'm more into that and then there's this uh, one other thing I keep forgetting to mention in a lot of my other videos um, all of this especially these two it also uh, assumes I actually remember to use them. Cause just keep in mind, this is my first. This is uh, I'm a new player to this game, so I've only I've only maybe uh, played done this on one other character, my ranger, and I had to brute force her way through. She died numerous times, so so I'm usually too busy running around trying to avoid getting killed to actually remember to do stuff like this. I forgot to cast vulnerability quite a few times too when I probably could have. Forgot about the portal as well. Well, that's the fight. I'm glad to have survived it. So, I'll grab the items and talk this in. <laughs>